So I'm very pleased that we're starting to develop an identity as New York Pure Maple. We have a logo that is getting adopted by a lot of our members, um, and they're using it on their retail containers in the state. It's on everything that we develop in terms of media and billboards and all over every everything we do. Um, and I think that's that's helping our members understand that even if there isn't a state brand of maple, and even though Vermont maple is next door and everybody knows of it, we're still developing an identity. I felt that we got a good representation from both our young up-and-coming maple producers as well as some of the, what I call my, my uh, stalwarts, the guys that have been making maple for 50 years. Um, so there was good agreement on where we wanted to go with it and that came out because of that whole process. So our member came back to us and suggested, well, can't we put a, a postcard or a flyer or something with the maple sugar piece to send home with the kids? And we had a very short time window that we had to do this. Um, I called Zoe and said, so can you design a, a flyer or, or a little postcard for me that can go with these? And I think it took them maybe 10 minutes to come back with the idea of, well, these are school kids, do a bookmark. Working with the folks at Zoe is, is like working with people in my own office. In other words, they're an extension of my office. I feel very comfortable picking up the phone um, and asking for something on short notice. Um, we email back and forth all the time comfortably. Um, there's never a sense of myself having to stop and say, well, I can't ask for this because we didn't include this in the contract, or I can't ask for this because um, it's something that they aren't prepared to do. On the contrary, they don't, they don't mind if I ask them something that's totally brand new. This last weekend was Maple Weekend and is a perfect example of how the folks at Zoe go above and beyond. Um, I was driving out of my driveway, and who should stop me uh, from pulling out of my driveway but, but, but the director of Zoe, who was out for his second Maple Weekend at no charge, free of charge, going around to all the Maple Weekend sites to get the feel of them, to take pictures, to experience, so that for the next time we do Maple Weekend, he can even better help us advertise the event. So we've involved Zoe in helping us come up with more creative things to do with that particular location. Um, and I have to, again, say that what they've done is successful. They, they had to kind of convinced me last year that putting a photo booth that took photos of consumers with a backdrop of maple behind them was going to be a popular thing because I was just like, really? Photos? Um, but they, <laughs> and, and, and um, I have to admit they were right. It was a very popular attraction at the fair. Great way to also, by the way, capture information about those consumers because you had to put in your email address um, in order to, to get your picture. Um, so it was a great two-sided event for us at the fair. Social media from the beginning that we worked with um, Zoe has been an interesting uh, phenomenon because most of us in the Maple Association knew nothing about social media. We don't use it. Um, we don't perhaps even understand the fascination with it. So Zoe had an up uphill um, 
job to convince us that we should should be using social media. Uh, let's see, we've been working on it three years. Uh, we do have uh, two Facebook pages. And again, I guess I'm gonna refer to Maple Weekend um, that just ended. Because I have to admit, even I was out there posting some things on Facebook this year, <laughs> my first time ever. Um, because of the fact that we see such a phenomenal response, we reach more people that way than I would have ever dreamed possible. I think the, the fact that our likes increased, let's see, 25% in the last two months um, on that page, um, that we hit something like three, over three million people saw our posts about New York Maple. I can't think of any other advertising methodology that would have would have gotten that. The message we need to present to our legislators of how effective we've been with the money that they've allocated for us for marketing, um, as well as how we present issues to them that are of our concern. For example, this year, one of our big concerns is that the facilities at the Cornell are not forest, which does the maple research, needs upgrading. Um, the materials that Zoe pre prepares for us, uh, our newsletter, videos, um, they went and took some drone shots of the Cornell are not forest. Um, all of those things have made our presentations look much more polished, have given us much more meat to work on um, in terms of everything we do. And also the fact that just it's so obvious that what we're doing with our advertising dollars is, is reaching a number of people. Um, that's really been beneficial to us. When I started as executive director of the Maple, New York Maple Association, um, we already had a arrangement with one of the largest ad agencies in New York State. Um, they were certainly familiar with uh, other agricultural commodities and had done a wide range of advertising, which is why I understand the Maple Association chose them. It was a challenge to work with them um, because they are so large, we were assigned to junior people. Um, I never got the feeling of working with a team. It was one individual that was the person we communicated with and the project never felt as though there were other people working on it or if they were, they were also junior people. Um, I have to admit a lot of what what the projects felt like were um, templates. So in other words, while we've done it this way for client X, we'll do it this way for you as well because this has worked before. I didn't get a feeling of individual attention. Um, I just felt that because our budget was small, we weren't really getting a lot of creative effort put into what we were doing. Zoe approached things different from the big agency. From the beginning, it has always been a team that we've worked with. Um, there are at least four people at Zoe I talk with almost weekly. Um, whenever we have creative meetings or discussions, they're all involved. And, and you get the attention of everyone from the owner director to the graphic artist to the project manager to their video people. It, it's a much more involved agency to work with. I just am feeling like we're getting the entire creative team putting their full effort into what we do.